For several days, Jaime Zapata's family home sat heavily guarded by ICE agents, giving them privacy as they soaked in the tragic news that the federal agent had been shot to death in a roadside ambush in Mexico. After following his remains to Houston, where medical examiners refused to perform an autopsy and sent it off to Delaware, Zapata's family can finally begin burial services for the 32-year-old in Brownsville. There was an outpouring of support at the Brownsville South Padre Island Airport as law enforcement from local, state and federal agencies gathered to join the family in receiving Jaime Zapata's remains Friday. With black tape over their badges, the agents stood stoically as Zapata's family and close friends broke down after seeing the casket for the very first time. The kid's home. The kid's home. Zapata's friends expressed anger over his murder and their disapproval with the way the Mexican government is handling it. But for now, they are focusing on the great memories of him and finally having him home for final goodbyes. Love going out fishing and camping. That's what we do. Their daddy owns a ranch up in Zapata County. And all the kids, all of them grew up like that. And they're all in there together right now. 